Fannie Mae is excited to roll out our benchmark CPR tool, now available on Data Dynamics, our free web analytics platform. In this short video, we'll cover the methodology and guide you through how to use the dashboard. There are several approaches in the market today to analyze prepayment behavior, each with its own merits. Fannie Mae developed our methodology to complement those and to simplify engagement with sellers and servicers through the use of one single metric, and address the requirement for prepayment alignment between the GSEs with the advent of UMBS. We also set out to address the challenges of vintage coupon cohorting and the treatment of servicing transfers on prepayment speeds. First, let's touch on vintage coupon cohorting. Many approaches produce several vintage and coupon results. Here you can see how this generates several metrics for each servicer. This may produce conflicting results for each entity. Another challenge is that annual cohorts evolve over time, leading to inconsistent month-over-month -month comparisons. Finally, a year-end cutoff is somewhat arbitrary, as market or prepayment trends may extend into the next year. This may distort prepayment views when viewed in isolation. Now, we'll walk through our methodology, which uses publicly available data, to see how it addresses vintage coupon cohorting. The benchmark CPR uses a rolling 24-month issuance population of loans in TBA deliverable 30-year fixed rate pools. We'll focus on the benchmark CPR 3 for illustrative purposes, which is calculated using three component SMMs. The tool also provides benchmark CPR 1 and benchmark CPR 6, which correspond to the number of component SMMs used. Using the February 2020 prepayment factors released on March 6th as an example, We'll show the calculation for the February 2020 benchmark CPR3, starting with the associated reference population. Loans issued in securities in December 2019 are the most recent production that have three opportunities to prepay, December, January, and February. Thus, loans issued in December 2019 are the most recent loans included in the reference population. The most seasoned loans for the population would be those issued into securities 24 months prior to December 2019. Here, that is January 2018. This is the most recent of the three reference populations used to calculate the February component SMM. For the second reference population and component SMM, everything shifts back one month to calculate a January figure. For the third reference population and component SMM, everything shifts back again to calculate a December figure. The three reference populations and subsequently the three one-month SMMs are shown together here as one, two, and three. To calculate the benchmark CPR3, UPBs of the three reference populations, along with the respective one-month SMM calculations, are used to create a weighted average SMM. This weighted average SMM is then converted to CPR to construct the February benchmark CPR3. To access the Benchmark CPR dashboard, visit Data Dynamics. If you're new to the tool, it will only take a minute to register. Once logged in, click the MBS tab to view the dashboard. Across the top, you can choose to sort the results by a number of fields and select between one, three, or six month Benchmark CPRs, which adjusts the data in the table below. The data is also available for download. The dashboard displays both a performance chart and table. At the top of the defaulted table is the entire Fannie Mae cohort, followed by entity-specific results, as defined by the benchmark option selected above. Users can sort the table by clicking on any of the column headers. You can see the breakdown between the GSEs by clicking any entity, in addition to the breakdown by seller and servicer. The treatment of servicing transfers in existing prepayment reporting has been inconsistent. This has resulted in misleading conclusions for certain entities since servicing transfers may result in prepayment speed differences between sellers and servicers. The benchmark CPR attributes prepayments to the servicer of record at the beginning of the month of transfer. Additionally, prepayments are applied to the starting UPB before a servicing transfer occurs. This ensures the speeds of servicing sellers are not unduly penalized and speeds of servicing buyers are not underrepresented. 
The table displays the selected benchmark CPR along with the individual component CPRs, which are calculated from the respective SMMs for each month. As a reminder, CPR is simply the annualized SMM. For each, the table also shows the percentage of cohort and a note rate adjusted percentage of cohort, which are also calculated from the underlying SMMs. The note rate adjusted percentage of cohort normalizes prepayment speed results for those entities with a weighted average coupon that is different from the cohort. For instance, if a servicer's percentage of cohort is 110% and their weighted average coupon, or WAC, is 4.59, but the cohort's WAC is 4.46, then it's understandable why the servicer would have faster speeds. The note rate adjusted percentage is the result of reweighting the cohort WAC composition to match that of the servicer. The percentage of cohort is then recalculated to produce a more apples-to-apples -apples comparison. The benchmark CPR report will be updated on Data Dynamics following the monthly factor updates. We hope you found this video helpful. Please contact us with any feedback or questions on the methodology or the dashboard. Thank you.